this is your instructions. Okay. And I'm telling you, I can't explain it as good as this does. Sure. Okay. okay? And then it'll tell you throughout these, like where your parts per million should be and what to do with it. Okay. So a lot of times when your pH goes down, that's what you see happen more than anything instead of your pH going way up, and that is to raise it. So pH up, pH raise up, it. and then alkalinity up. Okay. A lot of times your chemical levels are going to be dropping instead of rising, unless you put too much chlorine in it, which I'm going to explain the chlorinator to, and you probably shouldn't run into that issue. Okay. But if you run into an issue where you do have too much um, pH in it, that's what your acid's for. Okay. And these here will explain everything to you. Okay. okay? Perfect. I'm not a chemist, <laughs> and this does a much better job oh, telling that's you. Great. So um, basically what that is, that's a plate that I'm gonna put over your skimmer basket. Okay. And that's where the hose goes in. Basically that just directs all your suction to the hose. So uh, the nice thing about this setup is you've got two lines of defense before anything gets into your actual equipment. You've got the skimmer basket here, mm -hmm. and then up in the pump, there's another basket also. I'll show you where that's at when we get up to that stage. And that's gonna block most of the stuff from coming in there and keep it from going into your actual pump itself and your filter. Okay. So those are your So if first, toys go in there, that's the first place they stop it. That's okay. exactly right. Because <laughs> that's the most common thing yep. you're going to see go in there. All right. Okay. Okay. First thing is to throw the hose into the pool. <laughs> and then you're going to come to one of these jets and take the end of it. And you're just going to pre-fill the hose with water. When you're full, you can see how the end of it's kind of doing its little thing, swirling, trying yep. to sink a little bit. That's when you've got plenty of it. So then I'm going to take it. I'm just going to plug the end in the, into the vacuum. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Bear with me. I'm a little sore <laughs> I don't know why. a lot of air into the system. Okay. Keep your hand over the end. Keep the water in there. Place the disc over the basket. Oh, you keep the basket in. Oh, okay. Put that thing down. Okay. Then right into the right into the skimmer there. Oh. And now you're ready to vacuum. Oh. One other adjustment I make. We're gonna walk up to the equipment real quick. So on your pump, there's your suction side and your pressure side. Anything going in, which is your bottom drain. In your skimmer, that's the okay. Once it goes through the pump, it goes into the filter, the heat pump, the back filter preventer, and your coordinator, that's your pressure side. That's how you can go back there. Which is your bubblers, your slide, and your return. These three valves here, we're going to get these set, and you're never going to have to mess with these valves. You've got three bubblers on the deck. What you're going to end up doing is Shut that down about halfway, 
What that does is that restricts the flow a little bit from the bottom drain and gets all your pressure from the skimmer. He likes to leave the uh, bottom drain open a bit, make sure the water's coming in. We're going to check this gauge right here. Oh, okay. Whenever you start off with a brand new filter, wherever that's reading, like right now we're just a little bit above 20, <clears throat> there's an error here that says start. Okay. Then there's one that says clean filter. What happens is as the filter gets more dirty or if you've got something in your basket there or something in the basket here and it's restricting the flow, that gauge is going to come up, come up reading more pressure. That means you could have a dirty filter or something out there. Um, or like I said, if you feel like you're just not getting enough suction out of your vacuum or if you're out there swimming and you notice your jets seem weak, come up here and check this gauge. This is the telltale, you know, kind of where you're at with your system. If that pressure's all the way up, all right, shut the system down, check your two baskets, and then we can check the filter. So, let's say it's way up there and you want to check that filter. First thing you do, you see your pump switch over here? Yep, oh, okay, yep. Turn that off and come right away, close these two valves right here. Okay. Then crack that. What that does right there is, you notice there was water in your pump? Mm -hmm. When you shut the system down, if you don't shut those, it's everything's going to want to gravity feed back to the pool, and you're uh. going to introduce air into that, and you're going to lose your prime. So by shutting those, that basically water locks those pipes and keeps mm. them full. Okay. So that way, when we fire back up, you're going to water right there to keep your flow going. So shut it, right away shut these, and right away shut those, release the air out of there. And then open up this valve right here. Okay. This valve's also your best friend, too. Um, and you can hear it. It's draining down yeah. okay. because I've got the return still open, so it's got okay. somewhere to go. Okay. I wait about 10, 15 seconds. There's two tabs right here. Push up, twist, and that unlocks the ring. Here comes the short legs. <laughs> I'm trying to rock the lid towards me, and that's going to get oh. that off the way. Okay. There's two little finger holes here. You can slowly rotate the filter. Because you gotta remember, this thing's constantly under pressure. So the lid sometimes can be tough to get off, and this could be tough because there's always pressure sucking it in. <clears throat> Easy as that. Okay. If you need to take the filter off, the black part stays. And the filter will slide off. Pops, like Pops right off. Okay. Um, you can, like this one's a little bit dirty, it's not too bad. You can blow these off. I'd say maybe like a Sunday morning ritual or something. If you want to clean your filter, I mean, check your gauge. If it's still running in a good uh, pressure zone for you and everything's working fine, it's probably okay. okay. But it wouldn't hurt to check it quite a bit. So on this right here, it says align with the filter inlet. This is your filter inlet okay. right here. Okay. So another key thing too is it, it'll only go in one way. So you can take it and kind of spin it, and you'll feel it drop in. Okay. That's when you know you're locked in place. Okay. Put the lid back on. I did put a little white lithium grease around there. It was that's, really tough to get on Yep, there, that's so. absolutely uh, a safe running issue. White lithium grease or Vaseline works perfectly fine, too. And you heard that, that little yeah. That's why I leave this open. Okay. Because when you're trying to take it off, you've got a way for air to get sucked in here and loosen that. But when you're putting the lid back on, it's tough to keep it really it's gonna fight you otherwise. It's gonna fight you. Okay. Then you take the ring, spin it back on, and here it lock in place. Wiggle it, make sure it gets locked in place. Okay. Because sometimes if you don't get it loose, this thing can pop off. It's gonna rock. Okay. Alright, then if you want to check your basket here, watch your toes, you might get a little bit wet. <laughs> Grab the O-ring as it comes up. Absolutely. <laughs> and then on your inlet side, there's a, a tab. Okay. You know, a little bit of rocks and stuff. Just gonna... Okay. Yes. Got sharks in the face. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. This also only goes in one way. This opening goes toward your inlet, so there's okay. a slot for that to slide right into. Okay. Sometimes 
sometimes it'll want to fall out on you until I get the glass kind of lined up. And that's typically about a quarter turn. Okay. And then you lock back in. Okay. So you cleaned your filter, got everything put back together. Okay. Checked your skimmer basket too. Everything's good. You're ready to start the system back up. So yeah. It's basically just a reverse. You come back over here. You're going to flip your pump on. Then I'm going to immediately open up the bottom drain. Because like I said a little bit ago, that's the one that's the easiest to have uh, more water flow going through it because you've got all your water weight with a pool. Hydraulic keep pushing pressure through that so you get more head pressure from that jig. Okay. And then you can listen to your friend and then let that keep going. Because I want to push all that air that I just reached two seconds out. Okay. Couple little air bubbles, that's fine to see, that's completely normal. Okay. And then once you get that going, and then slowly introduce the skimmer, because sometimes you can get air. And if you see a bunch of air coming back in it, you can shut that back up. Okay. Let the bottom drain, refill the hourglass is what I call it. Okay. And luckily we shut that off soon enough so we didn't have a lot of air get built up back into that. So. And I think we were, the last few days we noticed that it was making noise as well. So it might just happen. What it could have been is you're going to drain your pool, let's say for some reason Discharge. you went on a vacation, you left your cover open and a lot of air and dirt got in there, you can redirect this and it'll shoot out. Oh, oh okay. And what that does is it's going to shut this off and bypass everything, it's just going to get the water out right there. Okay. Okay, your other valves, obviously your return is the R. You basically always leave that one open. Okay. Because uh, you always want water flow going through this thing. So okay. your turn's always going to be open. You figure out which one is your slide, obviously. <laughs> yep. And now we're going to do some okay. And the handle is in line with your piping. That means it's turned up. Yep. But it's completely opposite of the <laughs> These are all 90 degrees from it. But off is in line with the pipe. That means they're off. Okay. And then I'm going to completely throw you off again. Yep. Because these three right here are standing. When these are in line, okay. so that's why I say we're gonna get these set, and you're just gonna we don't touch them. We don't touch them. Okay. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bumpers. And that's where you're going to probably mess with your valving to adjust that. Okay. And more than likely, if you have the slide and the bulkers going, by any chance, you can go and kill that return. Okay. Okay? I'll put in your return. The black thing is a back bulk. Basically what that is, there's a valve coming from the house side this way, because the water flow is from the pump out to your accessories. The spring loaded valve. If for some reason the system gets turned off or there's a
guy here is what it's called recording. What that does is take the salt from the pool and electrically turn it into the Right now you've got it, it's kicking out at 70. Which for it just happened to solve it. Basically, I want you to watch as your chlorine comes up and gets into the like the ideal zone, and then that's when you're going to start cranking this thing down. Okay. Once it hits the ideal zone, what I want you to do, the last button and hold it. It should drop by fives. Take it down to like 20, okay? Oh, okay? And see what that does as far as maintaining your level. 20 is kind of the standard for most pools your size. Every pool is different though. The amount you use, the amount of sunlight, the distance of your piping. So everything is a little bit different. So it might, you might be 18, you might be 15, you might be 23. It's all going to depend on what statewide you need. So that's going to just be So for the next week, I would say I'd check the coding level every day just to get a good reading. Sometimes this disc is kind of a pain in the butt to get out. Yeah. Okay. All you have to do is go up and turn off the skimmer. And that's going to shut it off and you'll, you'll pop that right now. Turn off the skimmer. Okay. Yep. Okay. Which I'll go do that. I know I put, I think I pushed it and held it or something, maybe. But I wasn't sure. Yep, that's what you do. You push and held it and now it should be turned on. And you can see they're on. Oh yeah, I can see that. Right now they're kind of on like a, a changing color one. Okay. So if you want to change it, see how the dot's moving? Yeah. And then, oh, and then push it. Okay. And, and so the, that's probably... And there's, now they should be blue. Yep. Okay. So these must be changing these colors. Is that what that is? Probably? Yes. And that, well, yeah, it goes okay. from that spec. It goes through that whole spectrum. Okay. Got it. Then if you want to turn them off. 